So what I'm going to start with is these thin spaghetti noodles. And I have my water boiling. I already put the spaghetti noodles in there. As you can see. And I'm going to boil those for like 5 to 10 minutes. All right, so the noodles are just about done. I do not cook them all the way through because I'm when I add them to the sauce, I want them to, they're gonna finish cooking anyway. So what I'm gonna do now is get my hand mitt, my oven mitt, and I'm going to drain my pasta noodles. And then I have my strainer in my sink. Sorry for that. All right, so I have my noodles. They're in the strainer, and what I'm gonna do, I'm actually going to put them, put some cold water on them. Not freezing cold, just like uh, warm a little bit. All right, so I have my noodles. I'm just gonna let my noodles sit. Then what I'm gonna do now, bring my pot back to the stove. All right, so right now I have my pot back at the stove and I'm gonna turn the, the eye back on to about right there. Then I have my ground turkey over here and I'm gonna actually add that to the pot. So what I have here is the ground turkey and then I did add an onion. And what I'm going to do now is add some garlic. Now I'm going to add my seasoning. So I have my seasoning salt. I just eyeball that. Have my salt on. Onion powder. Italian seasoning. Parsley. All right, so just let that cook for a little bit. Then we're gonna add our sauce. So I just opened my cans. And let me show you guys a little trick on how I do my tomato paste can, cause it is hard. So do you see the bottom? What I do is I put punch holes in the bottom. I don't open it all the way. I just punch the holes. And then the top, I punch all, I open all the way. This is so air can come in because tomato paste is so thick. This is so the air can come in and it'll be easier to slide out of the can. All right, so I'm adding my tomato paste first. See how easy that was? Look at that. My mom taught me that trick, so shout out to her. Then I'm gonna go and add my tomato sauce. And then the stewed tomatoes. I do like my spaghetti really, really saucy. So let me just stir all that up and I'll be right back at you. Alright, so now that's stirred and now I'm going to add my Prego roasted garlic and herb sauce. So I went in and added a little of my Himalayan pink salt. 
to the sauce. And we're gonna let that sit. I'm actually gonna cover it and let it sit and simmer. And then I'm gonna add my noodles. So that's simmering. And now what I'm gonna do, I did add some parsley and some Italian season on top. So what I'm gonna add now is the pasta noodles. So you just stir those noodles in. Don't do it too hard because it might splash everywhere. You don't want to get soft everywhere. Right. Then I'm going to put my lid on top and just let that simmer. And I'm going to put it on medium heat. So just let that simmer. All right. So what I'm going to have with my spaghetti is, of course, fried fish. The fish I chose to use today is whiting. And I do have it all seasoned and battered up ready for that oil. So the seasons that I use is the New Orleans style seafood seasoning. I put onion powder, Obey, and my Tony Chasers, it's spicy, more spice seasoning. So I'm gonna put it on, put, put it in that oil, and I'll be back. In church. All right. So right here, I don't know what happened to my clip of me cutting the French bread and starting the garlic and the butter and the Italian seasoning. So that's all that's in that bowl. I just melted some butter, Italian season, and garlic, fresh garlic as it as well. And I'm just gonna drizzle that over that, um, and then I'm going to spread it out all with right, a knife. So my grease just about ready in order to check to see if your grease is ready you will whatever you're using flour cornmeal whatever you'll grab a little piece of it you'll drop it in there it's ready you see how it sizzles up as soon as you drop it the grease is ready for the fish to be added to it that's how it should sound do not add water to your grease to check. You see a lot of people doing that. It's not good at all. So just putting my fish in there. You don't want to overcrowd it because it'll turn the temperature of the grease down and then it'll mess up your fish. So I'm just gonna wait for that to cook and I'll come back when it's all complete. So my bread is ready. As you can see, I smeared that sauce with a knife and now it's going to go into the oven for about five to 10 minutes. Doesn't take long at all. You don't wanna burn your bread. It's gonna go into the oven. And I put mine on 350. And then our fish is cooking as well looking good so when everything is complete i'll come back with the plating and keep in mind if you guys um didn't get any ingredients i will actually put all of that information down in the description box okay okay so that's how your fish should look once it's done and what i want to do is take it out of the grease put it on my Paper towels. This is all of it complete. Hope you all enjoyed. And of course, I had to add a vegetable. These are just regular canned peas. And I hope you guys try this recipe. See you in the next video. Love you, babies.